Now, uh, when, let me, I, I want here to give you another definition of a cost estimation so you better understand in case you miss the first one. Uh, in case you want me to explain in another, using another words, right? So, um, in another words, what you need to understand is that cost estimation is a process of determining, you need to determine the equivalent monetary resources of three things, labor, equipment, and material. That is cost estimation. What does that mean? Let me just take an example here. When you have a project, in order to deliver or achieve the goals of, those, of that project, you need three things. You need equipment, you need labor, and you need material. Why? Because labor are those people that will work on the project to pour concrete, to do form work, to lay, out, lay down carpet, um, etc., etc. You need those labors, and the labor will not remain in the project when it, once it is completed because you are renting their time. They sell you their time. That's what we call labor. And how much is their time going to cost? You, you need to take those labors, you convert their hourly rate charges uh, into monetary resources, into the dollar's value. Or euros value depending on your country the second thing is going to be equipment like you can see here this crane on the top of this roof here you can see uh, the this tower crane and sometimes the, you have an operator in, in the tower crane but uh, we already talked about labor the, the, the equipment you'll be renting the equipment once this project is completed you you will not have the equipment the tower crane will not remain here it will not remain. So you're going to need to dismantle it, to, to dismantle the equipment then the, and return it to where you rent it. So you are renting that equipment. If you are renting the equipment, how much is it going to cost you to rent that equipment for, maybe for the duration of a project, six months, eight months? How much does it cost? So you turn the renter of the equipment, you turn the equipment cost into monetary, that is monetary resources. And as you can see here, the last is material. You can see here bricks. Okay, form works. You can see uh, a concrete here. You can see here, for instance, um, garage door. These material that will remain in place once the project is finished. But the question is, how much does it cost for the material? So, in other words, that is cost estimation. So, when you want to do cost estimation, you need to find out what's the cost of material. You want to install a door, you need to buy that door, right? That is the material cost then somebody is going to have to to install that door that is going to be that's going to be labor curse maybe that person installing the door will rent in case of a garage door or some heavy door the person may need to rent an equipment to lift the door when it is installing so that is equipment so those are three things if you take the cost of your material the cost of labor then the cost of um, equipment you put that together you're going to get at the end the cost of your project and that is cost estimation. Really interesting. Okay, let's just try here to summarize. Let's just try to summarize what we will be talking about. So what is cost estimation? I've given you a first definition. So it's a process of using historical data uh, to derive the future cost of a given project. Again, future cost. There are different kinds of cost estimation, uh, but usually you develop a cost estimation for something that is in the future, something that is not yet done. Because you're already done, you already know the cost, right? So the second definition I've given you is the cost estimation is um, finding out the equivalent monetary resource of material, labor, and equipment that are required to put in place your project. And a key question now comes to your mind. When you talk about the cost of your project, there's another question that comes into your mind. When you are giving an estimate, cost estimation is giving an estimate, right? Okay, but an estimate means it's estimation. So it, that means it's not accurate, right? An estimate is something that is actual. I'm mean, is, is, is uh, an estimate is not far from approximation. When you approximate something, the question you may want to ask yourself is, okay, how far is going to be the approximation to the true cost or the actual cost or the final cost? Welcome to cost estimation. If you're asking yourself that question, that's cost estimation. And you're talking about the accuracy of cost estimation. 
when you're doing the cost estimation, you're going to be providing the cost, then you're going to indicate what is the accuracy of that cost. What is the guarantee that you are tying uh, to that cost? Is it going to be the same as the final cost? In that case, the variability is going to be zero. That means you're very good. It's only an estimate you're giving. But for cost, cost estimator, usually, because no one can predict the future. No one can, uh, as a cost estimator over, for, for years now, I cannot guarantee you that the cost I'm giving you is going to be the same cost that you're going to get tomorrow. No, because I do not have the information. I am just developing an estimate. I'm not looking an estimate, but at least I can tell you with assurance, I can assure you that the cost I'm giving you will be within maybe plus or minus 5% of the final cost, given the condition, given the assumption that I use to develop that estimate. Based on, because when I develop an estimate, I always tell the client, no, uh, this cost estimate is based on historical cost. This is based on this. This is based on that. And in case you're bidding on a project, you, you're going to have to take responsibility for that, ownership for that, in case um, you don't develop a good cost estimate. So that's basically what we're doing. Um, uh, that's very uh, those kind of questions that you're going to try to cover uh, throughout, this, um, throughout this class.